If you're tired of using the same left hand patterns over and over and want to know how to pick different left hand patterns for your hem playing, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Amanda Taro and I help church pianists become better at hem playing. When I was trying to expand my hem playing, I pretty much just sight read through tons of arrangement books and picked apart the left hands that I liked to give myself some variety but I've made it easier for you because I've got two resources that you can access. The first is a free digital download over 50 left-hand patterns. These are all in the key of C. It's in 2-4, 3-4, and 4-4. My more robust book though is the 140 left-hand patterns. This has 2-4, 3-4, 4-4, 6-8, .4, and 9-8, and it's also transposed into eight different keys, which are really good for hymn players because if you're in the key of B flat, you just flip to the correct time signature, to the correct key signature, and you have everything you need. I want you to do a little exercise with me because the first thing you need to know is a general style of the hymn that you're playing. So pretty much all you need to know is, is it slow and reflective or is it fast and upbeat? There are a few in between, but let's say, hmm, just as I am. Slow, right? Slow and reflective. Crown him with many crowns. That one's more upbeat. He leadeth me. That one's slower. For the beauty of the earth. That one's slower. That is the very first step because if you know what style your hymn is, then that's gonna dictate what type of left hand pattern you're gonna use. A lot of church pianists will use one style for everything. And that's fine if that's all you know how to do. But this whole video is to expand that so you know even more how to do it. So I'm gonna push you a little bit and say, we need to have at least two main styles. We need to have a slow style and a fast style. But you can also do so much more with just those two general styles, but that's where you need to start. From there, you need to know the appropriate left-hand patterns to play. So for instance, just looking at these, this is really nice and flowy. It's got a lot of notes, but you can kind of tell it's smooth. That would go for your slower, more reflective pieces. However, this pattern is staccatos, or they have octaves with syncopation. Do not put those to slower hymns. Put those to your faster paced hymns. I'm gonna get on the piano in just a little bit and show you how do hands-on do this and experiment, but there's a few things that I wanna talk about first. Number one, try anything. So I know I just said, oh, don't throw this pattern with this style hymn, but go ahead and try it. There are sometimes you can make something work if you play it differently, but a large part of this, we're experimenting. We have to figure out what works, what doesn't work. And some of it could be what works for you as a pianist and what doesn't work. Like what just is really too confusing for you? What pattern will you probably never play? And what patterns do you fall in love with? And you're like, oh, this needs to be my standard. So try anything, even if you're like, ooh, I don't think this will fit. But part of that is teaching your ear, oh yeah, this would go better with a fast paced song and this would go better with a slower paced hymn. Another very important tip is to ignore perfection. It doesn't matter, you're practicing. Go back to being eight years old learning the piano or just your first time doing the piano. You didn't play it perfectly. You were learning and you just enjoyed that you got to make music. Go back to that phase and that's what we're doing. We're just enjoying music, we're learning how to play something different and that's fine. And then the last tip, which I will go more into whenever I put the video on the piano is to have fun mixing and matching. So start with one style. And then my challenge to you, most hymns have four verses. So what I like to tell my students is for three of those verses, choose different patterns. So three different patterns. And then for the fourth verse, now that you've practiced the three different patterns, you're going to mix and match them. Now they do need to be similar in style so they actually fit together. And I'm gonna show you more how to do that. So let's get to the piano. I will be using the hymn Amazing Grace to show you what I talked about. So I'm going to use the 140 left hand patterns book and you could just go to the contents. It's in three, four, it's in G major. That is page 38. So we have four different pages of patterns we can try. Okay, so I'm going to walk through every single one of these. So here's pattern number 22. So let's put that with Amazing Grace.
pattern number 23. So it's very similar, but that top note, instead of being the root, is the third. Pattern 24 adds back down. Okay, so instead of 22, you have 24. I'm just going to play one of the phrases with this. So far, all of these fit very well. Pattern 25. Again, just a phrase. We're going to move on to pattern 26. Very similar to 25, but it has an octave. This is a little bit more broad of a sound. Pattern 27. That one's really pretty. It might work really well for an arrangement more than for congregational singing. If you feel like it takes a little bit more time to practice, that would be really nice for an arrangement. Number 28. We've got three more pages to go. Number 29. is a really easy one so if you notice they kind of advanced so number 22 was this eighth eighth half note 24 was eighth eighth quarter quarter and then now number 29 is eighth 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 all eighth notes so a lot of times if you're choosing this you will choose it based off of maybe through many dangers toils and snares i wouldn't do because that's like moving forward. It's very moving. So through many dangers, toils, and snares, I might would do a slower pattern to kind of reflect the thought of the words. So that's another thing you can consider as you go. Number 30. Once again, that's really beautiful for like an arrangement. Number 31. Now this one's a broad one. So for this one, I would pull the right hand up an octave since it would really run into each other. Now this pattern is really broad. I think it would work really well for verse number five when we've been there 10,000 years. It's like 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, very broad idea. So I would use a broad pattern. So pattern number 31 would work really well for verse five. All right, number 32. another really 
pretty one. Again, more arrangement style if you wanted to do an arrangement. Number 33, another broad one. also could be a good verse five. Number 34. This one kind of gets a little bit in the middle, so let's do your right-handed octave higher again. Again, works really beautifully. And then number 35. This one's actually more of a closed one. shoved together, so I do my right hand an octave higher. So that might work really well for verse two. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear. All right, now we're getting into some of the more rambunctious ones. This one I would say you can put it with Amazing Grace. This works better for your fast style songs, but let's hear it. We're just experimenting. Yeah, it's a little too boom cha cha sound for me, so I wouldn't choose that one personally. Number 37, very similar. I would, again, pull my right hand up because they would run into each other. That one actually might could work for when we've been there 10,000 years, honestly. Probably the next would work better, though. Number 38. better for a slower more relaxed sound because it's not quite so chord heavy because you're taking out the middle notes of the chord so that one you can get by with on a slower paced piece I think it would sound nice pattern number 39 Once again, you can make that one work. Pattern 40. That one could also work. Pattern 41. work I would put that in an arrangement but I would not necessarily use that one for congregational hymn playing 42 one of my favorites that one's a really good one for reflective that would be another good one for through many dangers toils and snares Last page, 43. This one's another syncopated. Again, I think that's more arrangement style than congregational hymn style. You could make it work. It's very moving forward, really getting into it. So I don't think it necessarily fits the lyrics the best, that's my opinion. 44. You might could say that one would work well for the Lord has promised good to me, verse 4. You could use that one. Once again, that's more of an upbeat style than a slow style, so I might not would choose that one. Number 45.
works very well. Number 46 is even slower. It's just quarter notes. If all of them so far have been overwhelming for you, start with this one. That's a really good beginning one. Number 47 is similar, but instead of the root, you're going to the third. Number 48. Once again, since it's so high up, your hands would be all crowded up. So we're going to move our right hand up higher. That one actually, even though it's more upbeat, I could put that one in verse 5 when we've been there 10,000 years. Also with 49, which is our last left hand pattern, it's just octaves. Okay, so you see there, there is a lot to work on. So I'm going to do it like I suggested, and I'm gonna pick four patterns because there's five verses in Amazing Grace. I'm gonna pick four patterns and I'm gonna try to play them slow enough for you to keep up with. If it's still too fast, you can change the playback to be like half speed to really follow my fingers if you need to. For verse one, I'm going to use pattern 46, which is the slow quarter notes. And what I'm actually thinking of, I'm, th I'm thinking of building this. So we're starting with just more reflective and we're gonna build as we go. We're also gonna think about the words. So just amazing grace, how sweet the sound, just very reflective. If I were going straight into the next verse, I probably would do that pattern again. So. All right, and so that's how I would just go direct from one to the other. So that next pattern I'm gonna use is number 24, which is two eighth notes, quarter, quarter. The words are, "'Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved." So I think it picks up a little bit in the message, so I think it could pick up a little bit in the accompaniment. through many dangers, toils, and snares. So I'm going to be a little bit more reflective for that one. Let's do pattern 42, where it goes like this. So I'm going from this pattern to this pattern. So what I actually might do in transition is do the eighth, eighth, quarter, quarter. Then I go back to my first pattern that I used, which was just quarter notes. And I will also bring my right hand up an octave. So I'm going to play the last phrase of the last pattern. Switch to quarter notes. Move right up.
the Lord has promised good to me. So this is quite exciting. So I might do pattern, let's do pattern 29, where it's all eight notes. And you could just jump straight into it. And you could pull your right hand down again. So last phrase. So we're going to mix up all of the patterns. Now, the one that probably fits the least is this one. Also, I've got to remember all four patterns I did. So we did just quarter notes, then eighth, eighth, quarter, quarter, then a rolled tenth chord, then all eight notes. Okay, so we get to mix them up. So I'm going to pull my right hand up so it's out of the way for all the patterns. So last phrase. right or wrong answer. There's just preferences and there's experimentation and see which way sounds the best. Personally, I did not like throwing those in there. I felt like it really slowed it down when everything else was moving. But the other three patterns worked really well together. So once again, you can go based off of what the text says, but you can also go with based off of how it sounds as a whole. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Remember, you can get the paperback 140 left hand patterns or the digital copy or if you are a piano teacher and have multiple students I also have the studio license where you can legally print as many copies as you need for your studio Or you can get the free 50 left hand patterns in the download below